Hey viewers, how are you today? This video guys, I'm gonna do a, a power consumption video on my Angle Eclipse 38 litre and my King's 60 litre fridge freezer. Now, they're in here. At the present moment, I'm running this on freezer and the Angle is running on fridge. Okay, I picked up this little handy gadget on eBay. It's a dual wireless thermometer. So that tells me the current temperature of everything at the moment. So there's two sensors. I'll show you where the sensors are. They're in the top of the fridge. So now I'll move that aside. I'll open the angle up. Okay. I'll show you the sensors. That's a sensor sender unit there. That's number one. It's in the angle, it's in the top of the fridge. Okay. The angle set on where I normally have it. Okay, I'll close that up. I also have the sensor guys in the Kings. Same's on the top of the basket in the freezer. Oh, let me show you. It's in there. There it is. There it is, there are my fingers on it. Guys, full. So she's chock a block full. So sensor one is 0.9, sensor two, that's the Kings, it's 16.6. Okay, I've got that set for minus 18, so it's full power. I can put a link where I got this from on eBay. So you get two sensors and this little gadget. It's great if you have two fridges, guys. Really, really good. I'm liking this contraption. I set this best as I, well, close as I could to one degree, the angle being one degree. So I just, I'll leave it there. We'll just call it one degree. It's 0.9 and it's not cycling at the moment. And the Kings is up to 16.3. It was down to minus 14 at one stage. Now it's at, yeah, minus 16. Guys, it has struggled to cycle off. I have not seen this yet cycle off, but it has been quite warm. It's probably, I think, forecast 32 today. It is quite a warm day. But I've got it on full power, and the same with the angle. I will have this on full power when I've got this on freezer. I will fill this up on freezer as well. I'll fill it full as I can get it. The angle's not actually quite full at the moment. There is a bit of an air gap on the top. I want to say as well, these two fridges are running off the same bank of batteries. So there's no, one fridge is not getting more power than the other. These both fridges, there's the main power coming in. Okay. I've got a double adapter plugged in. One goes to the angle the meter for the angle and the other goes to the meter for the kings they're the meters up there and they're the fridges so number one is angle and number two is the the kings have the results soon on the average power consumption i'll put up on the screen and then i'll swap the contents over and i'll do the same I don't care what the energy consumption is, guys. I'm just doing this video just for curiosity. Minus 18 and one. When I've done that test, I'll put the results up on the screen and then I'll do vice versa. I'll do freezer, which will be flat out. Pull that out. Okay, guys, when I turn this angle fridge on, this is where I generally keep the dial for the drinks to be nice and cold at that setting there. The Kings after 24 hours was 108.815 amp hours as the meter clocked over and the angle it's at 30.340 amp hours and the temperature was back down to 28.2 it did get the 34 and the minimum was 26 and there's the current temperatures of the freezers. Well, minus 16 and a half for the Kings and 0.9 for the angle, one degree for the angle. It's just cycled Kings. on. Fridge running. Now this is running on its own. I've got a decibel meter. Now I'll stop talking and you can see the noise the Kings makes.
The King's is less noisier than the Angle. Now to take all the beer out. Oh, that's all I stopped. Okay, in the angle here, here's one of the beers. I'll just show you how cold it was. <laughs> Look at that. 0 0.6. So 0 0.7, 1 degree. So yeah, nice and cold. Okay guys, I've re-changed the fridges over. Okay, I've let it normalise for a day. I've let the... So I've got the king set on 1 degree. Okay. That's currently at two at the moment. And I've got the angle on full power, which is up on the five max. So the knob's up on the five. Okay, the angle is drawing, let's say 2.4 to about 2.9. Okay, the Kings, approximate power draw while it's cycling. It's approximately four and a half amps while she's cycling. Okay, guys, coming up to the end of the 24 hours, 25.508. 25.508 for the Kings, that's what it's used. That's set on one degree, okay? We have the thermometer saying 3.2 degrees. So we've got 3.2 on the sensor, and I'll have it set for one degree, it's cycled off. I'll take one bottle of beer out. Out of the Kings. Okay. Three point eight. Four degrees. Four point two. Let's say four degrees. It's been quite warm. Total consumption on angle is 58.230. Okay, we'll open the angle fridge up and we'll see what's... Yeah, minus 20, yeah, minus 22, minus 23 down there. So, but I don't think the... It's minus 22 there and over there's minus 16 near the sensor, so minus 20 there. So the King's set on one degree, which really is four degrees, really. Okay guys, so if my drinks were actually one degree, this King's would have used more power than what it actually did. Because I had the, the beer was in the angle and it was one degree. In the King's it was four degrees. So that three degrees would make a difference on the consumption so the angle would have used less power but anyway guys take this like this is not a, a genuine power use video um, these meters by the way I purchased both exactly the same time okay so they're both the same brand as well but don't take this as a genuine power consumption video this is a, I've only done this just for your own you know, just for entertainment purposes only, guys. I'm just showing you what these two fridges consume in power on that 26 degree ambient. Well, the minimum was 26 and the maximum was 31 degrees. So it was quite a warm day, guys. So really it's, yeah. Anyway, um, hope you've enjoyed it. There, guys, the King's fridge is fine. If you're on a budget, this is your fridge to buy. It works, you know, it, it's fine. If you've got the money, you got the dollars, or if you're traveling and you want something for life, guys, get an angle fridge. They are, they're fantastic, really are, absolutely. Naturally, the King's is a bigger fridge, so that's naturally gonna use more power. The angle's only a 38 liter, so naturally, it's gonna use less power. The King's works fine, it really does. The only hiccup I've had with this King's, now it's almost three years old. Um, motor wise it's it's great it's fantastic it's just the latch is broken on me I'll just show you I've done a video on this before the latch is actually given way okay and the seal 
I won't open it, but under the lid, the seal dropped out. I put some silicon on it, and that fixed that problem. There are only, yeah, there are only cosmetic issues. With an angle fridge, it's they are expensive, but it's pretty much you buy once, cry once type of scenario. Three years so far with this, and this thing I've had now eight years, not an issue. There's the latches aren't broken, nothing, not a thing. Not a thing's going wrong with the angle. The King's fridge is okay, you know, you're on a, a tight budget, you're on a low budget, you know, around 500 bucks for the 60 litre. And the Eclipse is a little bit over $700 when they're on sale, but generally they're around eight, nine hundred dollars to buy. All right guys, hope this video has helped you out. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye. See ya.